In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best Blender tips and tricks. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is brought to you by Learn to Make Looping Animations, a Blender course that teaches you to create four high quality looping animations step by step. Check it up in the link below. And the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create an, an interesting scene. Let's scale up our default cube, select these three faces and delete them. Then we're going to select these three edges so we can bevel them. Let's, let's first select the whole cube and scale it so the camera is viewing everything. Let's select these three edges and bevel them. You can increase the bevel amount by the, using the mouse wheel. Let's move this cube up and then press shift A and create a monkey. Let's rotate this monkey toward the camera by pressing R twice. Let's go to modifiers and add the subdivision surface modifier to make it smooth and shade it smooth to make it even smoother. Now let's press shift A and go down and add a bolt, scale it down and move it away from the monkey. If you don't have this bolt option, you can go to edit preferences and add-on, search for bolt factory and enable the built-in add-on. Now let's press shift A again to add something along the side there. Let's add a gear and move it and rotate it by pressing the R twice. As you can see, we need to bridge those loops, so let's alt select them both and press bridge at lo edge loops. Now if you don't have the option to add the gear, you can watch my video here about the best blender built-in add-on, so you can add the option and other built-in features to blender. Now Let's play a little bit with the lighting. Increase it to something like a thousand four hundred. Let's go to the render. Let's move it away a little bit. We need to remove those harsh edges. So let's duplicate our light. And we need to make, we need to increase the radius of this light so, so we can make the shadows more smoother. Let's increase the radius of the other light too. Now if you go and press 0 and go to the camera view, you can see that the shadows are a lot more smoother. Now let's go to our first tip, which is adding line art to Blender objects. You can do that by pressing Shift A, grease pencil object and add a stroke. Let's move away this stroke from the camera. And then let's go to modifiers and add the line art modifier. You can select the collection that you are using or you can select an object or you can select the whole scene. Let's select the scene here and add the color and make it a black color as a material. And as you can see now, you have a light line art around your object. Also, you, you can see that the best view for it is on the camera angle. You can also change a lot of the settings in the uh, modifier. One of these are the thickness, so you can make your line art more th thicker. Also you can play with the opacity. Now let's try adding it to an object. Select your monkey here and again select color and black and you can see it's only applied on the monkey head. Now let's go to our other tip, which is creating an easy tune shader. Now let's split our screen into two parts, the 3D viewport and the shader editor. Let's move this output here and let's add a, let's search for shader to RGB. Now let's add the converter color ramp and make the interpolation from linear 
to constant. Now you can start playing with the colors. Let's move this white color here. As you can see now, it starts to affect it. You can also add another uh, color by pressing the plus icon. Let's make it a gray color. Now you can see we have our really simple tune shader. This tune shader is affected by the light. So if you move the lights closer to it, you can see it changes. Now let's add our shader to the other objects in the scene. Let's add it to the bolt here and let's also add it to the gear. Now you can move the gear and see how the light affected. Also you can change the colors to whatever you like. Let's choose the, an orange and the blue color here and you can see the results looks fantastic by only using two nodes. Now let's get back to our shader. Also as a side note here, it is better to switch from the principal BSDF to a diffuse shader by clicking on the principal BSDF and pressing shift S and changing it to a diffuse shader. Also make sure that you are using EV render engine. If you use cycles, it's not going to work. Use EV real time render engine. Now let's go to our third tip, which is quite similar to this one. Let's go back to our black and gray, black, gray and white tune shader. And what we are going to do is we are going to turn this render into a pixel art render. Now what we need to do is go to our and the render settings, let's change the samples on both the viewport and the render to one. Also, you need to go under film in the render settings and decrease the amount to something like 0.01 or 0.1. Now, when you go to your render output properties panel, you should decrease the resolution to 10%. Now, if you render your image, you can see you have a really great pixel art. Now, tell me in the comments below the best blender tips and tricks that you know. I just like to have these conversations with you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe. Goodbye.